Good morning, good morning, you guys. All righty, so today I'm a little excited. As you can see, uh, it's nine in the morning, I'm yelling in my kitchen. But you know, today we're gonna do a little day in the life. So I'm gonna be taking you guys through my whole day of eating, uh, you know, what that looks like, me going to my full-time job at Anytime Fitness. Um, you know, still staying on track, still getting all my meals in, still getting my workout in, what exactly that looks like. And I know it'll really relate to a lot of you guys too, who obviously are working, right, or going through school. Uh, also my age too, you know, we're just going through a lot, you know, we're young adults and, you know, we have a lot in our lives. So, you know, being able to balance all that stuff, um, and still achieve your goals. So that's what we're going to be on today, y'all. Hope you guys, you know, enjoy the video and I'm excited to, you know, keep this thing rolling, but yo, I'll see you guys in the video. All right. All right, you guys, so the first thing I do in the morning is I come over here um, and just get my rice going just so I can have that fresh for the day. Uh, I really hate eating rice that has been sitting out. Um, so as you can see, I have this 20 pound pat, 20 pound pat, 25 pound bag um, of jasmine rice. Um, this is just you know, the, the jasmine rice that you can buy at Sam's Club, the members mark. Um, but yeah, usually this lasts me, you know, a month and a half, two months. Um, but you know, I just get a good old dry cup here looks about good and then you know a lot of people like to measure their water um, so this is one cup dry so it's gonna make about two cups cooked right so I'm just here I'm just gonna fill it up so I'm just gonna fill it up until the rice is pretty much covering the water like two to one I don't really like measuring my water I feel like if when I do that I just don't get enough water in there and it just becomes dry. So I just try to put a little bit of extra water um, in the rice cooker. It's going to cook off anyways and it'll, it'll turn out good. So got the rice cooker going. And bam, there you go. All right, you guys. So I'm going to take you guys through uh, my breakfast here, right? So I got my rice going here. Um, that's going to be a chicken and rice meal, but then, you know, so I don't actually like eating in the morning. A lot of people might be like that, but my stomach, I don't know. I just, I just don't like eating in the morning. So what I do is I meal prep my breakfast and then I just take it to work and I just eat it when I get there. Um, so what we're going to do, we'll start here. And as you can see, I'm using some butter. Um, a lot of people, you know, use the avocado oil, use spraying oil, cooking oil, uh, whatever it is, but... I just use butter. So drop some of the butter in there. Huge, um, you know, big disclaimer to you guys is, so, you know, a lot of you guys, you know, ask me, what are your macros? You know, what are you guys, what are you eating in your day? What are you, so honestly for me, I don't count my macros. Um, I have a good idea of, you know, what I need to do um, to put on weight, to put on muscle. And I actually don't track. I feel like when I track, um, I just get super overwhelmed. Um, but what I do is I just focus on eating whole foods. Um, I think that's what a lot of you guys got to do too, especially a lot of you guys starting out, right? You guys aren't bodybuilders. Um, you guys are you guys are just looking to get fit and, you know, get active. I think the biggest thing is, you know, just focus on, you know, getting to the gym, getting your whole foods in, getting your meals in, um, you know, getting your good sleep and rest. Um, and then if you're hitting those three, um, I think you're going to be in a really good spot. So I want to get too worked up um, about tracking your calories or anything like that. Uh, but this is going to be, so this is going to be my breakfast. This is pretty much what I eat every day. So what I'm going to do today, we're going to go five whole eggs. So and obviously the whole eggs, you guys are like, oh, that's a lot of, you know, a lot of fat, um, whatever it is. But, you know, for me, for me, it's good. I'm a, I'm a hard gainer too, so I can definitely eat some calories. Um, but no, I just do the whole eggs. Um, a lot of you guys can do the egg whites. Um, you know, if you feel like, there you go. I'm also on my prep, on my prep right now too, right? I'm putting on weight. Um, so I'm definitely trying to get some food in. Um, but I got five whole eggs and then I'm going to do, you know, a handful of spinach. This is like a cup of spinach. Um, and I'll just plop that in here. Get some greens in there, maybe a little bit extra, um, for good measure. Um, but yeah, there you go. That's um, I'm gonna whip this baby up. 
And that is part of my breakfast. All right, guys, so the eggs are done. Um, so I got the five whole eggs um, with the spinach here. Remember, too, you can always substitute that, um, you know, for egg whites or even going lower eggs. But I would recommend getting some eggs in in the morning. Really good protein, um, really good fats, healthy fats in there, too. Um, what I'm going to do next, come up to the cupboard here. I got some good old, some good old oatmeal. So here we go. Get my oatmeal in. I got two packets of oatmeal here. All right. So two packets of oatmeal. Bam. Rice is almost done. We got about five more minutes on that. Um, and I'm going to plop my chicken in here that I got prepped. Um, I actually just buy rotisserie chickens. Um, and I'll see you guys in a second. All right, you guys. So the rice, the rice is cooked. Um, pretty much everything is set out today for my day. Um, so I'll just take you guys through this real quick, just to recap again. Um, so I got my five whole eggs here with a cup of spinach and the two packets of the Quaker maple and brown sugar oatmeal. Um, and that's going to be my breakfast. Okay, I'll eat that when I get to work. Um, about an hour and a half, two hours after that, I'm going to have my healthy snack. So I got my core power here with my, you know, 26 grams of protein. Um, and then I also got a banana. Okay, and then I have my chicken and rice meal. So about two, uh, you know, cups of rice cooked six to eight ounces of chicken. Um, I personally, I use rotisserie chickens. A lot of people don't like that just because they have that extra fat in them. Um, obviously someone else cooking them. They're not the, the most lean chicken you can buy um, or, you know, cat, like caloric wise, they're gonna have a little bit more calories. Uh, but you know, I love them. I think they're super easy to, to use. I think they're super accessible too and pretty cheap. So I just use rotisserie chickens a lot. So this is just, you know, two cups of rice um, and six, eight ounces of a rotisserie chicken. Um, and then for my next meal too, I prepped some burgers last night. Uh, so I just got some burgers here um, ready. I got the buns. Obviously I'm not gonna eat, I'm not gonna eat three burgers, you know, in one sitting, but I'm just gonna take these with me. Uh, I'll probably eat one to two um, when I'm at work. Uh, but yeah, you know, uh, even recapping before, as you guys see, I'm not weighing any of this stuff out. I'm not tracking my, my macros. And you know, I'm in my prep right now, so I'm just trying to put on weight. I have a pretty good idea um, of what that looks like. Um, obviously, when I, you know, when I go to compete and I get my coach, I'm gonna have to track my macros. I do understand that. Um, so there will come a time when I am gonna be tracking and scaling, you know, all my food and making sure I'm really on track and precise. Um, but right now, you know, I'm just focusing on staying healthy, building some muscle, getting my calories, and I have a good idea of what that looks like. Um, but you know, I, I'm just, I'm just touching on that just for you guys too. You know, don't don't complicate it, guys. Do not complicate it. Um, you know, just focus on getting your whole foods in, getting to the gym, making healthy, good choices, getting good sleep, and you guys will be at a really good. You know, you guys will, if you're as long as you're doing that, you're going to be in a really, really good spot. Um, so just make sure that we're focusing on, you know, getting the whole foods in, uh, getting your sleep, getting your rest, just showing up to the gym. Um, you guys are going to be in a really good spot. I won't get too overwhelmed with tracking the macros. Um, or anything like that if you'd like to you know feel free uh, obviously you know being in a caloric deficit so that means you know you're you know you're 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 eating less calories than you burned um, that day so you're gonna you know lose weight so just track the scale so if you know in a couple weeks if you see you're not losing weight or not gaining weight uh, you know you got to eat more or eat less okay and feel free to reach out to me um, with any help but hopefully this is you know this is I'm gonna work 11 to 7 today so this is three meals and a snack um, so I'll eat this throughout my day um, just to make sure that I'm fueled. And then um, after after work, I'll go work out and everything. But this is kind of what my day usually looks like. Um, hopefully this can help you guys out um, of some different ideas of what to do at work or even when you have a busy day, I'll make sure that you're getting it in. All right, you guys, I'm about to head to work right now. I got about a 35 minute drive, um, which kind of sucks, but we're about to get it in. Um, as you can see, I got all my food ready. I look like a bum, I got a plastic bag. Uh, but that's just how we roll around here. And maybe one day if I get sponsored, you know, if anyone's watching, feel free to send me a bag. <laughs> but I got um, I got my keys right here too. So we about to go to work. Uh, I'll catch up with you guys there. Um, but no, hopefully I, the, at least the food helped you out. But we got a workout coming. I'll get all my meals in today too. Um, so I'll, yeah, we'll see y'all later. All right, you guys. Well, I made it to work. I'm here at the good old Anytime Fitness. Um, but yeah, guys, I'm a manager here. So I'll be here 11 to 7 today. Um, but yeah, I work 11 to 3 usually in the office and then I train at night. So like 3 to 7, I'm usually training, um, which is really cool. 
Uh, a lot of you guys, I'll, I'll touch on my background here a little bit too. So um, I come more from a, an athletic background. So, you know, even from a young age, I was playing a lot of sports. Um, you know, I, I played high school football track, um, went, went played college football. I was under a really good strength coach um, from the University of Iowa. I played at Augustana University, which is a D2 school. Um, but yeah, I was on a really, really good strength coach and also had a really good trainer in high school, Brad Fitzke, um, Athlete X Factory, um, which a lot of you might not know, but he's a super, super good athletic trainer um, here that started in seriously warehouse and now he's in like a commercial gym. So this dude is like living his dream. Um, but I learned under him too. So I have a really good athletic background, um, exercise science. But then with this job, you know, I came in, I was used to, you know, just the football workouts, barbell squats, um, you know, the Olympic lifts, stuff like that. And then with just this job, I've really learned to train, you know, people from all different ages. So it's been super, super good experience for me. Um, but yeah, you know, if you guys are aspiring to be trainers or anything like that, I just recommend you guys get your foot in the door, man. Uh, just get some experience, see if you like it. Um, you know, get with a gym, get with an internship, something like that. Um, but yeah, you know, I think too, you got to have a passion for it. Like for me, um, you know, I started lifting in my parents' basement. Like luckily my, both my parents worked out. Um, so I was kind of raised in that environment a little bit, which was awesome. Super athletic family too. Um, my sister, you know, played, played high school sports, was like a three sport athlete too. She's a dentist now. So she's the money bags of the family, which is kind of funny. Um, but you know, I, I, I started lifting when I was, you know, 13, 14 in my parents' basement and I just fell in love with it. Um, so I've been lifting now, you know, now I'm 23. So, you know, nine years in the, you know, in the works, but you know, I'm just kind of starting on my personal training and what I want to do with my job. Um, but yeah, you know, just getting your foot in the door guys. And, you know, I'm excited to go to work today and I'm going to train some people. I'm going to make sure to get my meals in. I'll try to record um, me just eating my meals. I'm not going to record a lot at all when I'm in there just because I'm going to be on the clock and I don't want to have any issues there. So I'm just going to be recording, you know, maybe some of me just heating up my food. Um, but I'm going to go through my day um, and then I'll recap with you guys after work um, and we will we'll get after it. Um, we'll get a little session in after that and um, I'll talk to you guys then. All right. See y'all. Hey, what's up, you guys? I'm in the back office right now. It's like five o'clock so i'm about i'm almost through my day i just got about one more session then i'll be heading out of here um but i just got that you know that chicken and rice meal here um then i'm gonna be heating up um but yeah i've gotten through all my meals so all the meals that you guys have seen that i prepped them all through this is my last one that i got um so i'm gonna eat that up um and then after work i'm just gonna hop in my car and i'm gonna go home and you know get ready and i'm gonna go train um so i'll catch up with you guys there all right all right, you guys, well, I'm home. I just thought real quick before I head to the gym, I'll just show you guys my little stack that I use. So my only protein powder that I use is this whey bao, like vanilla. And I honestly, I eat most of my protein. So I really just use this for like smoothies um, and stuff like that. But I do take these two every day. Um, so I take this creatine product, the Beyond Raw, um, and then Total War Redcon. Honestly, my pre-workout switches in and out, um, but I do stay really consistent on the creatine. So just thought maybe you guys would like to see that. But I'm me and my boy about to head to the gym. Uh, I'll see y'all there. All right, y'all, we are here at the gym. Uh, just got here, just got done with work. Um, I showed you guys my stack and everything, got my pre-workout in, um, but I'm about to warm up, so I'm gonna foam roll, um, do some shoulder stuff since I'm hitting shoulders tonight, uh, warm up my hips, stuff like that, stuff that's tight. Uh, but make sure that you warm up, um, and make sure that you're taking care of your body before you get into any heavy sets. Uh, but me and my boy, we're here, about to throw down a shoulder workout. Uh, we'll get into that in a second, all right? Hey, what's up, guys? So what we're gonna start with is an upright row. Okay, so that's gonna really focus on your front delt and your side delt. Um, I like to just do this just to warm up. Um, as you see, I got my sweatshirt on, uh, a little different. I'll have my mask on and my shirt on today. Uh, so it'll be a little different for you guys, but we'll get it in, all right? So I'll show you guys this. This is an upright row. So we're here, stand nice and close. Biggest thing to focus on is keeping the, the bar and the attachment nice and close to your body on the way up. Then those elbows out, right? So you don't want your elbows out. Elbows nice and out, keeping the attachment nice and close to your body, right? We'll do 10, 12 reps here. Really focusing on using your shoulders to pull it up and not your arms, okay? I'm on my own, broken alone. I feel the rain crashing down. All around this empty town, I'm searching for the lost and found. 
But you don't care, you're unaware Keep moving like the scars aren't even there It's in the air, like a blazing flare all right, you guys, next we're gonna do all um, my Smith, Smith machine shoulder press. So in all my shoulder, or even like my pressing workouts, I always do like one main compound press. Um, so with shoulders, right, that'd be like barbell, um, or if that's like dumbbell press, um, but today it's gonna be Smith, okay? And usually I do about three to four working sets, um, eight to 12 reps, all right? So next, um, so think about when you're training your shoulder, right? You got three heads on your shoulder. Um, you got this front delt, right? So your front delt here, then you got your side delt, then you got your rear delt, all right? So when you're hitting shoulders, um, think about hitting all three of those, okay? A lot of times in your shoulder days, you just wanna focus on your front and your side because a lot of times when you're doing your back workouts, you hit your rear delt a lot more than a lot of your back exercises, okay? So I would just focus on your front delt and side delt more. If you wanna do a couple, you know, rear delt stuff, incorporate in there. Um, feel free, but we're gonna do a little superset now. Um, we're gonna do dumbbell lateral raises. Okay, so keep your shoulders retracted, arms at the side, nice and controlled up. And you don't wanna be, right, you don't wanna be swinging, swinging the weight off, cheating it, okay? Nice and controlled, all shoulder, okay? Right here, raise it up. 10 to 12 reps here. Okay, that's gonna be a really good side delt exercise. We're gonna turn to that. We're gonna do some neutral grip front raises, okay? This is gonna be more front delt. Board is here, nice and controlled. Not swinging either. Nice and controlled. All right. We'll do about 10 reps each, back to back, about four sets, all right? My darling dear, you're never here. When I'm in pain, you hide and disappear. Like shadows in the atmosphere, charting the stratosphere. Yeah. I prayed for you and kept you near and hopes you chase away my fears. I'm on my own, you made it so. And now I'm chasing nightmares. I used to run with you to the great big leaves. Stopping you when you laugh at me. All right, you guys, next we're gonna send a little finisher just to polish it off. Um, we're going to do some TRX W's and do some TRX Y's. Um, just to go into some of that rear delt weight I was talking about. Um, hit a little bit of the rear delt and also still the side delt. Okay, so just finish it out, pump it out. I'll show you guys these. So W's. It's nice and controlled, right? Making a W with our arms here. Making sure we're coming through, squeezing our shoulder, and then going into a Y. So arms straight, making a Y with your arms. Here, W. Y, okay, we're gonna do about 10, 10 reps each, okay? So W, Y, W, Y, about three to four sets, okay? Hope for us because I believe the home is just you and me. That's all for the shoulder workout today, guys. Um, hope you guys enjoyed it. Went a little bit. I'm gonna head home, um, get some food in me, and recap it a little bit. But um, that's all for today. All right. See y'all later. Alrighty, you guys. Well, that is an absolute wrap on my day. Um, in the first day in the life 
Uh, I know this video will be a little bit longer one, but I just wanted to make sure that I was getting all the content I can in here. Um, just to make sure that I'm informing you guys right the most that I can. Uh, but I'm, I'm falling in love with doing this content, man. I'm falling in love with making these videos, and I cannot wait to just keep pumping out more for you guys. Uh, make sure to leave questions and answers below um, if you guys have any questions or comments or anything. But um, one thing, too, just to recap, the food. I'm going to eat another, some more chicken and two cups of cooked rice. Um, and then to finish off my night after that meal, I'm going to eat uh, drink a smoothie before I go to bed. Um, and that'll be Greek yogurt, um, you know, some protein powder, some fresh fruit, uh, and, and some milk. And I'll blend that up and drink that. Um, but, you know, just to recap from the day, guys, you know, don't, don't get overwhelmed. That's my biggest thing I want you guys to take away from today. Um, don't get overwhelmed. Take it day by day. Focus on, you know, going to the gym, kicking butt. Getting your meals in, eating whole foods, getting some really good, focusing on your nutrition, um, and getting good sleep. And if you guys can hit all those three, you guys are going to be on a great, great, you know, great path. Um, hope you guys are enjoying this content as much as I am. I'm going to keep pumping it up for you guys. Nothing but love. Um, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out.